Dominic Kennedy for FerrisStateBulldogs.com and we are only two days away until a football season opener in Joliet, Illinois when Ferris State football will take on St. Francis. Honored to be standing by right now the defensive coordinator, Ryan Oshnock. Coach, defensively related, balances of upperclassmen to lowerclassmen. You know, we, we've got uh, two senior defensive ends, three senior linebackers, and uh, a senior corner who are playing a lot for us, senior safety as well. So, you know, we're, we're a senior-dominated group, and I like that, you know, because it, it means a lot. You know, your senior senior season means a lot, and it's, and it's good to work with a group of guys who, you know, have a lot of experience, and these guys have played well, and they've been coached very well, and I'm, I'm very fortunate to be able to lead these guys this year. Can you describe your defensive scheme and the way you're going to run plays this year? You know, we're, we're really multiple on defense. Um, you know, we, we like to be an attacking style defense and uh, try to just mix in some zone and man coverages and some fire zones as well. So, you know, we're, we're going to look to be really multiple, multiple across the board. Obviously, completely different coaching staff this year. How has the reception been with the players? Have they been receptive to what you brought to the table? You know, I think a lot, all the guys have bought in, you know, especially the seniors, you know, and it, and, and it comes down to your senior year that, uh, you know, it, it, it's your last year and it's your last season. So it's. It, it doesn't necessarily uh, uh, take a lot of uh, coercion to, to get the seniors to buy in. So everyone's done a real good job. They've been very receptive to what us and, and the rest of the defensive staff has been preaching. Some household names. Who can our fans expect to hear this year? You know, I think Tyle Moss and Mike Elias, Alex Brajack, um, Jaime Barrera, uh, Will Miles, uh, Jordan Morgan, Brad Escal. Those guys are really going to be the backbones of our defense this year. Can you just describe your adjustments to the defensive scheme you know, Ashnock has brought here to the program? There's the inside, the outside, the middle linebacker. Are you playing more of a hybrid or, or a traditional linebacking position this season? I'm, I'm playing in more of a traditional linebacker position. Last year I was kind of the outside backer. Um, now that I'm this year I'm kind of the middle backer, so that's kind of a little adjustment from last year. I'm more in the box and kind of take more physical with the old linemen instead of dealing with all the wide receivers and all the slots. So it's kind of difficult, but I like the camaraderie so what do you think about the change in the culture um i love it it's a great change i'm glad it happened because it brings a overall a new atmosphere to this program and it just feels great i have a i have a good outlook of how the season is going to be and what these coaches are bringing it's, it's, it's going to be great i can't wait any personal goals for you um really i just want to be a glee championship and whatever i get from there on is what i get but what i'm focusing now is is kind of being a team leader and trying to do whatever I can to make my team successful. So There's a lot more hustle from drill to drill, whereas before, you know, you get a couple minute break between everything, and now it's whistles, get to the next station, and that'll take care of the conditioning mostly, because if, if you can't do that and then still be tired, then, you know, nothing else is going to help out. Jordan, you know, the, some names that come to a the recognition would be Clay Matthews of the Green Bay Packers, you know, kind of a linebacker, defensive end, you know, hybrid position. Are, are, are you going to be playing more of online as a speed rusher to the QB or playing closer to the end? Um, well, now, probably this season, I'm a weak side end, so I'm going to be probably more of a uh, rush kind of guy uh, for pass rush, not really doing dealing with the tight end or inside stuff. Uh, they kind of want me to be on the edge in some space so I can do kind of my own thing and uh, expose some people. What do you say your strength is? Do you prefer the run stopper or focus towards breaking up passing? Oh, I mean, I like them both. Um, the run stopping, you get to smash some heads and kind of people think I'm a smaller kind of guy and I'm not that kind of rush stopper, but I like to prove them wrong and do that. But then at the same time, pass rush, you get to get after the quarterback and get some sacks, and that's always fun. Can you describe your adjustments to defensive scheme and Oshnock has brought? Um, his adjustments are a lot more uh, attacking style, downhill. Uh, he wants us when... Uh, when there's a run play, he wants us to fill our gaps immediately. And in the old system, we were more shuffling down the line. So yeah, we're more attacking downhill, play the run first, pass second. Differences in the defense from years past compared to now and the way you guys are playing? I think there's just a lot more intensity all around. I think Tayo has definitely been leading it. And uh, we're just getting to the ball. Everyone's swarming it. And it's just real good defense set right now. Tayo's been leading it. Can you talk about which ways how he's been showing his leadership role? He's definitely an intense player. He uh, gets to the ball fast and you know when other guys have a good play he's there to congratulate them he's a real good leader. Uh, well you know they're excellent coaches you know they're real big on intensity speeding to the ball you know being aggressive you know uh, being uh, mental in the game but you know it's all they're all good. Well what kind of defensive coverage in the secondary is the coaching staff trying to build around a lot of man coverage or press coverage? Are we more of a uh, man coverage press a lot you know a lot of zone, a lot of different kind of coverage. We have a lot of different kind of coverages. As a defensive back, are you comfortable with an island, manned up wide receiver? Or do you prefer safety help? Uh, I prefer more of a 
man coverage. Safety safety help is all right in some plays, which is like the zones or whatnot, but I'm more of a man coverage. Coming off an ACL tear after last season, how's the knee doing? Uh, it took a while, but it's back to 100%. What are your aspirations after college football? You know, with the terror, would you still like to go to the combine, play semi pro NFL trial? Yeah, I'm a, wherever God leads me, that's where I'm headed. We're down to two days away. We'll take a look at the special teams tomorrow, right here on FerrisStapleDogs.com.